Do you currently take melatonin supplements? If so, you really need to be keeping a lookout for some of these potential side effects and cautions. So <clears throat> for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my name is Lucas. I am the founder of Ergogenic Health. And in this video, I'm going to basically break down some fundamental truths about melatonin supplementation that you really need to keep a lookout for. So the very first one is that melatonin can acutely lower dopamine. Now, obviously we know that dopamine is incredibly important for motivation, drive, our, our mood, our focus, and things like that. And I know a lot of people that have used melatonin supplements and have noticed reduced motivation, reduced drive, and waking up feeling groggy and generally just not feeling good at all. So that can also be linked to the fact that there's potential that melatonin can also be converted back into um, serotonin. Now, this is quite a highly debated subject. However, a lot of people that use melatonin supplements can actually get a lot of the same symptoms as if they were on an SSRI, which is a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. The other caution is that melatonin supplements can acutely uh, lower one's insulin sensitivity. So this is one of the reasons why we don't want to be eating a super high carbohydrate meal just before bed, uh, because that the body actually has high levels of melatonin in the later parts of the evening, and that can actually ruin our body's ability to tolerate and handle sugar. Uh, and the, net, the last point I had was that melatonin supplements may... When I'm talking about supplements, I mean dosages beyond 300 micrograms. Not milligrams, micrograms. So 300 micrograms and beyond, that's when you'll start to run into issues with blocking aromatase. Now, aromatase is an enzyme that helps the body um, convert, uh, well, it converts testosterone into estrogen. And we know that estrogen is incredibly important for men and women um, to regulate brain function and a host of other benefits. Now, this video is not to fully discredit uh, melatonin supplements. They definitely can be used uh, strategically and um, there's only a few times that I actually think that they are, can be beneficial. So the first one is if you're you know, recovering from jet lag and you're trying to resynchronize your uh, circadian rhythm, that's when you'll want to use melatonin. Uh, in terms of, let's say you've had a very late night or you have come back, you know, been out partying or whatever, and you want to come back and it's like midnight and you need to fall asleep. That is not when you want to be using melatonin you, because that's basically going to train your body into thinking that's your desired uh, sleep time. So the, the ultimate question comes back to, uh, I know that there is a ton of benefits from like re improving the body's antioxidant capacity uh, detoxification of fluoride um, and heavy metals. But I think one needs to be very careful when supplementing with high doses of melatonin because that can um, affect many other systems in the body. So it comes back to this final question of to take it or make it. And my stance is that most of the time, 95% of the time, we want to be making melatonin. And to do that, uh, you can find a link to my free sleep masterclass in the video description below where I talk about how you can maximize your melatonin production. Um, one cool little hack is to make sure you're wearing blue blocking glasses as that has been shown to help the body produce its natural um, um, production of melatonin. So if you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash the subscribe button. And I look forward to seeing you all soon.